Lyme disease is an invisible illness. You can't always see it on a person. It's just something that people who don't see you every day don't understand the extent of what you might go through while having Lyme disease. Lyme is an elusive, debilitating disease that can mimic the symptoms of more than 300 illnesses. The CDC reports 329,000 will be diagnosed with Lyme disease every year, and thousands more will go undiagnosed. Lyme disease can destroy your life, and it's bad. It's, it's like a silent assassin. Tick-borne diseases have been reported in every state, as well as in 80 countries. It seems like every month we're learning about a new organism, a new microbe that the ticks carry. <laughs> Children between the ages of 3 and 14 are at the highest risk of contracting Lyme disease. Think about this. 200 kids are infected with Lyme disease a day. That's four busloads of kids every day being infected with Lyme disease. My kids could be the next tick bite. We're all one tick bite away from becoming incredibly ill. Lyme disease has impacted every part of my life. I loved swimming, and then one day, I passed out in the pool while swimming an event. I was doing awesome, and then my vision went blurry, and then eventually black. And she kind of got to the end of the pool and just kind of laid there. And that sinking feeling, um, that knot, that sickening, there's something wrong, she's not okay. And then I was brought to the ER. And then when they did the Western blot, only three of the five bands came back positive, but they decided that it wasn't Lyme. Okay, I have three of the five, wouldn't you want to treat what's there? Going from doctor to doctor is very stressful. They just look at you kind of funny and they're like, but your labs came back okay. Slowly the symptoms started piling up. And nobody was putting everything together, uh, connecting the dots. And it, it just breaks your heart because you know that your child is hurting. It's been a very difficult three years. In November when we finally got the diagnosis, this is Lyme disease. Lyme causes all these things. And I'll be honest, that night I went home and closed the door and I cried. The most frustrating thing is that I wasn't diagnosed right away. Had I been diagnosed right away, I wouldn't be passing out. I wouldn't have so much brain fog. I wouldn't have such huge joint issues. I wouldn't have heart pains. Had this all been caught right away. I did all the proactive preventative things that a parent is supposed to do. I would do anything to have had better testing, to have tests that were reliable and standard and cost-effective to have caught this early on. How much time and, and progression of the disease could we have prevented if we had gotten that diagnosis two years earlier? Studies show commonly used testing misses 55% of positive Lyme cases. It takes the average Lyme patient two years and five doctor's visits to get diagnosed. In order to be able to be effectively treated for Lyme disease, one has to be diagnosed very early during the course of the infection. Doctors need tools to take care of their patients, and without those tools, we can't get them better, and that's not acceptable. Global Lyme Alliance is funding top-tier research that will yield a reliable diagnostic test for physicians. The Global Lyme Alliance has been the leader in the Lyme disease world through the innovative partnerships that we've had with the world's leading researchers and institutions dealing with infectious disease. We have many different projects going on right now looking for a potential test that will be both highly sensitive and highly specific. Today, that does not exist. There's tremendous reason for hope because science has advanced exponentially in the last five years. Government funding for Lyme disease research is extremely limited and becoming more difficult to obtain. 
makes me concerned and breaks my heart is if we have to turn away a research grant because we don't have enough funding for it, because that might be the answer that we're all looking for. When we raise money from donors, we have an incredibly diligent process with our own scientific advisory board to make sure that we are really thinking through every aspect of a grant that we're about to make. It's about finding answers, closing the files, and getting results. Thank you for trying, thank you for searching, thank you for helping people like me and my family who are suffering from Lyme disease. Global Lyme Alliance conquering tick-borne disease through research and education.